Hello YouTube, it's NWI and Weather here again. Um, in this uh, video, I'm going to be uh, showing you all how to program the NOAA Weather Radio. Um, the Weather Radio I'm going to be showing you all, uh, showing you all how to program today will be the uh, WR120. As you can see, I got the uh, WR120 right here, right in front of me. But we're not going to be programming this uh, this uh, radio, okay? Um, we've got uh, this radio right here. I bought it today. Well, bought it a couple days ago, and it just arrived today. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing open and give me a few minutes. Alright, it's open. Let's dig into here. What do we have in here? A WR120. Easy. <laughs> Be precise. This is a WR120 Easy, and there's the uh, AC adapter for it. Nothing else in there. I bought this thing for uh, 15 bucks off eBay. It was also $6.75 for uh, shipping. It was uh, out of Indianapolis, Indiana, so it only took a couple days to get here, which is very nice. Let's uh, get this plastic wrapping off. Whoop! <laughs> I don't want to break it before I get it out of the package. Goodness. <laughs> All right. There she is, fellas. That's the uh, WR120EZ. Look at that. Nice little radio. Um, reason why I got this radio, even though I already have this one, um, reason why I got this one is so I have a weather radio in my car, so that, uh, when I'm out on the road, I'll be able to receive weather alerts, regardless of where I am in the U.S. So, um, uh, anyways, let's get to it. So, in order to find the SAME code for your area, for your county, you need to know a couple things. You need to know which county that you're in, at where in the county that you live, just so you can judge which uh, know whether radio tower you're closest to, and uh, which tower will alert and will send out alerts for your area. And and uh, you would also want a secondary tower just in case the one that you are tuned to goes down. You would also want to find a secondary tower. So I'm going to give an example first. But first, we need to go to the uh, to the National Weather Service's website, which is www.weather.gov. So we're going to go to information, and we're going to click here on NOAA Weather Radio. So we're going to go here to coverage and station listings, county listings, station search, or coverage maps. We're going to go here to coverage maps. First, this is the the uh, um, this is the, the uh, list of towers that are currently down and the ones that are currently degraded. You can just hover over that and it'll uh, show ooh, and it'll show which uh, tower it is and which call sign. So in my case, we're going to go here to coverage, and I'm going to click on coverage maps because I like seeing maps. Okay, now I'm going to click here in Indiana, in my case. Now let's just say we live in Central Stark County, okay? If I lived in Stark County, I would want to check the, uh, the towers that uh, surround my area. And just seeing, I see Michigan City and Hebron are closest. So I'm going to click on Hebron first. And I can see I get pretty good coverage from Hebron. I'm also covered for alerts for Stark County. But however, I'm also going to check the one in Hebron. I mean, excuse me. I'm going to check he the one in Michigan City. 
and Stark County is very well covered with Michigan City. Michigan City also does alert Porter County, apparently. I, didn't, I never noticed that before, to be honest. Um, so, Michigan City, if I lived in Central Stark County, I think uh, if you lived in Central Stark County, I think a, a good primary tower would be Michigan City. 162.5 megahertz would be the frequency to call to tune to, which is channel 5. KJY62 is the would be the call sign for for start for this Michigan City Tower. So if I wanted the same code for only Stark County, I need to find the same code right here. 018149 would be the same code. As you can see here, um, there is remarks here saying like northwest of this county, not southeast and north. And see, there is a remark north with Pulaski County. And as you can see, the coverage is only only extends to northern Pulaski, uh, Pulaski County. So that's why there's a remark here north. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, that was just an example. I think it... Uh, So I would also want a a secondary tower just in case this one here in Michigan City fails. So let's go back. I'm going to click on the one here in Hebron. Hebron would be my secondary tower if I were to live in Central Stark County. And the, the frequency is 162.450 megahertz, which is channel 3 on the NOAA weather radio. And the call sign for the one here in Hebron is WNG689. So, for my case, I would, uh, I just so happen to live in the same town as the NOAA Weather Radio, which is Hebron. And I want the same code for Porter County, which is 018127. I would also want the counties that are to my west and to my southwest. Those are the, uh, those are the directions that storms come from the most often. I also would want the county to the south. So, the county to the south, Jasper County, is 018073, Lake is 018089, and Newton is 018111. So those are the three counties to my west and to my southwest, as well as to my south. That There are... Uh, why did I only choose the, these ones here to the west? Well, simply because storms, in most cases, don't come from the east, okay? But I, did, but I do remember one time where it did come from the east. It, we had a tropical storm, remnants, come up, up into the U.S. and into uh, Indiana. And the remnants came from the east, okay? <laughs> so, I'm not saying the, the storms will never come from the east, but, uh, but in most cases, they won't come from the east. They'll come from the west. So, anyways, so I would tune my radio to channel 3, and I would put the same code 018127 as well as the, uh, the surrounding counties to my west. Okay, let's uh, program this uh, NOAA weather radio. <laughs> so, I'm going to pull the uh, power adapter out of here, out of this wrapping. Okay, and there's the adapter right there. So I need to untie it here. Oh, N need scissors because it says zip tied. I'm going to see if I can do this in front of the camera. There we 
we go. Um, okay. Now, we're going to go plug this bad boy in. And so, I'm going to pull the antenna up here. And extend it. Okay, let me uh, plug it into some volts here. It's my power strip. Okay, and uh, look, we're going to turn the radio here. And we're going to plug it into the one that says power, of course. Okay, so it's all booted up. Let's uh, let's uh, go. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um what it did when it powered up. Some of you guys may or may not have saw that. I'm gonna just do it again. All right. So um, uh, we need to set the current time. So I'm actually gonna go uh, actually set button beeps. Turn that on. There we go. We're gonna go here to set time. And the current time is 3.39 p.m. So we're gonna set that. Scroll all the way to three. 3.30. I know I can't scroll the opposite way. I'm just used to scrolling up. 3.39 p.m., okay? If you wanted to, you could set an alarm in the morning to wake you up. I'm not gonna do that. And, and set language. It's, uh, there's a choice of uh, three language, three languages. English, Spanish, whoops, English, French, and Spanish. <laughs> I'm scrolling the uh, other way, so that's probably why French uh, came up first. So um, we're gonna keep it on English. Set location, okay, so this is where we set the same code, okay? I, As you can see, we have it on any right now. Now, we're going to change that to sync. We're going to change that to multiple, okay? Okay, USA. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Indiana. Oh, okay. So it already has these same codes pre-programmed. So all we gotta do is just select the uh, county. I gotcha. <laughs> I've never actually done that before because with this um, radio over here, with this radio, I'm used to setting the uh, same code. See, it's a, it's a 018127 is the Porter County same code. Okay. Um, So I need to put another code in here. Looks like they definitely made it user friendly uh, for the uh, WR120EZ. I've never used a WR120EZ, so that's why I'm kind of surprised. I'm not in Adams County. I am in, we're gonna set a, another same, another uh, another area and it's gonna be Lake County that's to our uh, to our west there's Lake right there so if I uh, so it's gonna ask if I want to do another I'm actually gonna I'm gonna go up just for the time purposes I'm gonna go ahead and leave that empty for now so I'm going to program the other two later. Alert type. So this is where you choose what the, the radio does when it receives an alert. Do you want it a voice? A voice to, uh, to come on? Voice basically means it's going to sound the alert siren for eight seconds, and then it's the voice of the official weather broadcast is going to come up. There's also a display. 
which means the radio is not going to do anything. It's just going to display the alert on its uh, screen, which is probably what I'm going to be using since it's going to be in my car. I don't want it to startle me while I'm in my car. And there's also a tone, which means it's going to just a, it's going to have a steady tone th throughout the alert until you silence it. So just for right now, I'm going to leave it on voice. There's also alert test. Oh, mm -mm. oh, I did. That, I know. I know why it's not testing. I have that turned off. I'm gonna turn it on a little later. Set channel. So this is where we uh, tune the radio to the uh, station. <laughs> Hold on. I'm. I need to uh, go and turn the uh, it on here. There we go. Oh, why did that turn back? Hmm, interesting. Sounds like the it's got a little enhanced. Let's take this. Let's take this. The relative let's, let's humidity was 29 percent. The wind was west at 22 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.96 inches and falling. Else okay, so backlight button beeps set events. So all by default, all off, all on at events. So. So this is where you choose which, uh, which ones you want to uh, to alert you to. There's avalanche in there. There's boil water. There's blizzard warning. Child abduction. Coastal flood watch. Coastal flood warning. A uh, dam watch. Uh, practice demo, uh, dust to storm warning, evacuation watch, flash flood watch, flash flood statement, flash flood warning, flood watch, flood statement, flood warning, fire warning, flash freeze warning, Hurricane statement, hurricane watch, high wind watch, high wind warning, iceberg warning. <laughs> oh, that's a new one to me. National audible test, national information, network notification, network peri periodic. Test, network silent, test, power outage, advisory, required monthly test, required weekly test, special marine warning, special weather statement I'm guessing, yep, severe thunderstorm watch, severe thunderstorm warning, severe weather statement, tornado watch, 911 telephone outage emergency tropical storm watch transmitter backup on transmitter carrier off transmitter carrier on transmitter and there, there's a whole lot of alerts in here <laughs> that was a uh, something fire watch I, I I wasn't paying attention wildfire okay winter storm watch winter storm warning unrecognized watch unrecognized emergency unrecognized Statement, unrecognized, message, administrative, 
message. Okay, so that was all the alerts. I, I remember uh, administrative being one of the first choices. Okay, so tornado watch and tor tor I'm actually, excuse me, tornado warning isn't uh, isn't something that you can uh, turn on and off, which makes sense. Tornado is uh, an emergency. So anyways, I'm gonna set that time back. I don't know why I didn't pick it up. Whoops. Maybe it's because I hit menu instead of select. All right, I'll uh, put, program the uh, location later. But uh, anyways, it apparently, uh, so for the easy, you don't need the same code. You just need to tell it what county you're in. But if you have an older model, um, like the WR120, then you do need the same code. So, and oh, I, it, it advanced 10 minutes without me noticing, hold on. There we go. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some batteries into that thing. Let me uh, get the batteries off my desk here. Okay. So just in case the uh, power does go out, you're still protected with batteries. These are Energizer rechargeables, by the way. Up oh, that low battery warning is off. Okay, there's the back, by the way. We are 120EZ. Let me extend those. Awesome. So now this thing is all set up and ready to roll. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't gotten a weather radio yet, now is a is a great time to get one. If you have got, if you just got your weather radio, that's probably why you were watching this uh, video was to was to find out how to program it. And um, if you have, if you uh, already have a weather radio and it's already programmed nicely done, you made a, a good uh, investment. So, anyways, um, let's uh, say it's two in the morning, okay, and a tornado warning gets issued, and you don't have a weather radio. You may have your device, so like your phone, to wake you wake you up, just in case severe weather does come through. I mean that the phones do uh, receive EAS alerts, but uh, it, no two phones are the same. So how the phone gets the alert to you is depending on the phone. So anyways, um, and uh, if and when the TV and the radios are off, the, these gadgets might be the last thing that can save you. So, so if you're just laying down here at two, two in the morning, two in the morning, a tornado warning gets issued, you'll hear, you'll hear a 90 decibel al alarm tone, okay? Which will sound, which, uh, which will sound like this. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, um, that's it. That 90 decibel alarm tone will wake you right up, and uh, you'll you'll want to go to see what the ra radio says. So, anyways, um, so anyways, um, when uh, you go see what the radio says, and it says tornado warning, that, that tells you take cover. <laughs> so, if you don't have a weather radio, would you get the message that would save your life? So, any anyways, um, oh, why why do I encourage getting a weather radio? It's because this is America. We have a uh, deadly storms that can strike at any time, and most of the storms can be survived should you get the warning. So, th the moment a a uh, severe weather watch or warning is issued, you'll immediately hear hear that, <laughs> and followed by the official weather bulletin by uh, the new voice, uh, Paul. So anyways, so anyways, um, that's why I encourage you get getting a weather radio. 
outdoor warning sirens are only designed to warn people outside. They were never once designed to warn people inside. This was the device that was designed to warn people inside. Okay. So having a weather radio could could be the difference between life, life or death for you. Okay. So let's keep that under consideration. Should a, should a severe uh, should a severe storm strike, would you get the message that would save your family's life? <laughs> Anyways, I'm in WI and weather, and this is my WR120 Easy, and my, my WR120. <laughs> this is in WI and weather. I, I'm out of here. See you all, See you all later.